Well, guys, I've gone and done it. I did the walk of shame last night, and what I'm talking about is walking out of the bush and leaving the equipment I came in with in the bush. If you guys have a look over my left shoulder here, that's exactly what happened. You guys saw me drive out one of my machines today. That's my Skidoo 380 fan engine. That right there is my other one. That thing's a 550 fan engine. That's got a long track. It's got studs in it, but with the snow conditions and well, with that drag on the back there, it definitely buried itself, well, pretty deep. So that's what we're up against today. I just loaded up everything as you saw, hauled it out here with my second machine. I'm gonna get the winch and instead of dragging out logs today, I'm gonna try to drag out that snow machine. I don't know what that weighs. I think it's five or six or maybe six and a half hundred pounds. We're gonna get that thing hopefully winched back here to the trail because last night when I was grooming, well, I thought, geez, I could just power through that little bit of powder. And yeah, I powered all right. I powered right down into a deep hole. We're gonna head over there just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But this was not fun and I hate leaving equipment in the bush. It's kind of embarrassing, but regardless, this usually happens to me at least once a year. You'll notice I'm walking on pretty good snow right now. That's because I'm on a trail right over here. Well, that was never a trail and I don't know if you guys can see, I just walked off the trail there. It's definitely knee deep and it's probably even deeper than that. So we're gonna, we're gonna make our way over here so you guys can see what we're dealing with. As you can see, it started burying itself and well, usually once it starts burying itself, you should lay off the throttle. I was thinking I could just power out as I mentioned. Yeah, I powered all right, powered right down into the ground. So this thing is buried deep and uh, there's no way I'm gonna haul it out of here with my own two arms. So. I could either dig it out, meaning I'd have to pretty much dig a hole up there or dig a hole back here and hopefully gun it out of here, but I don't really feel like doing that and I have the equipment now. So we're gonna put the Lewis winch to the test. This probably isn't anywhere near its maximum, but it's gonna be a test for me because I haven't done anything like this before. I brought out something different this time. I brought out a pulley. So we're gonna double up the pulling power. I'm gonna pick that red pine over there as the anchor and we'll see how it goes. Glad you guys are all along. Let's get rigged up.
don't think you guys saw what happened there, but I'm gonna go show you what happened. That's uh, not a good start. Wow, I didn't uh, didn't exactly expect that one. Yeah, that's uh, that's sort of what happened there. That's no good. No good. Well, I had it cracked to begin with. I guess I'm gonna be replacing it anyways. I gotta rethink what I'm gonna pull by because obviously that is not gonna cut it. That's too bad. I figured that would at least uh, be good enough, but I guess not. I guess you live, in, you, you live and you learn and I definitely am learning right here. So anyways, back to the drawing board. All right, guys, well, I think we got a re-rig there. I originally thought there was a piece of steel bar going in that bumper. Obviously, there isn't. That's one of those things I'm going to have to chalk up as a learning experience. Regardless, I got some chain on there and some hooks. I think I got it rigged up a little better this time. Uh, I'll show you what the outcome is, obviously, after we get underway. So let's fire back up here. Well guys, here we go, mission accomplished. Now I did a little bit of a detour there and as you could tell, I ended up with a broken bumper on my snow machine, but that's something I gotta learn. I more or less learned two things here today. Yeah, pretty much two. The first thing is, if I'm gonna go down a trail and groom it, I gotta make sure that I have plowed it or groomed it all season. If I think I'm gonna put my thumb to the bar and power through with a machine like this, I'm gonna probably be digging a lot more holes like the one you see down there. And this thing is gonna end up living out here in the woods. Second thing I learned here today, on the bumper, which I, uh, you know, was in relatively good shape when I came out, I thought there was a piece of steel that ran through there. The second thing I learned is that there is no piece of steel and that is not where you pull from. Definitely don't take my advice on that one. We'll chalk that up as a learning experience. Lastly, I want to just touch on this. This right here is my Hulse Forma G660. This is mounted to the Lewis winch. I got a few videos out dealing with this. It's relatively new to me. This thing has performed flawlessly again for me and well, this is just one more application in addition to pulling out logs and whatever else. I'm quite happy with this. I'm quite happy because of the versatility. Where I'm standing now, the snow is too deep and I haven't plowed it, so I couldn't get my tractor here. So without this, I didn't really have another option other than digging to get the machine out. So that's one of the good uses here. The direct mount I'm really liking as well, mounting the seven horsepower hulls Forma directly to the Lewis winch. That's turned out to be really manageable and Quite, uh, quite a bit nicer in my opinion than putting on that universal adapter. You guys can check out my other video where I put my uh, Husky 555 on this winch, but I like this direct mount setup a lot better. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna pack it in there. I got a lot more coming down the pipe. This was just sort of a detour, literally, as it spent its way out there in the bush, spent its night out there. 
I plan on getting some logs out of the bush still. I've got some trees down there to get down. And over at my sawmill, I probably have 10 or 15 logs to saw up. I got lots to do. I hope you guys come back for it. If you haven't done so, make sure you subscribe. And well, if you're not brand new here, welcome back. If you are brand, brand new, welcome. And for everyone out there, you take care and I'll see you next time.